Hello and welcome to the new look of Barclay HQ. When you log in, you're going to notice that Barclay HQ looks a lot more modern and clean. This is an update that I'm super excited to share with you today. So upon logging in, you're going to be brought to your home screen, which still shows you your upcoming bookings in a list view with a wealth of important information for you to see what's going on. Um, you'll also notice that our buttons up top look a lot more modern. Let's move to the calendar because this is where you're going to notice the most significant changes. You'll notice that the calendar looks a lot more modern and functions a lot better. Um, you'll first notice that the navigation bar is up here now with the option to go out four weeks or six weeks as per your request. Um, you can also still navigate the dates just by clicking here to change the date to what you need. Um, but let's dive into making an appointment. Um, so let's click at 1030 here. You'll see that the pop-up still appears. It just looks a lot more modern, saying, do you want to add a booking, add a break, etc." We're going to come here and we're going to click add a booking. This part of Barclay HQ is completely the same as before. So let's go ahead and let's pretend we're making an appointment for Tracy. Her information will automatically show up, show us the last time she was in, what she had done, that sort of thing. Um, what pet do we want to pick for this service? She only has one, so we'll go ahead with Fury here, or Furry, however you wanted to read that. Um, again, if you wanted to rebook something you've done in the past, you can just turn this no to a yes, but for now, let's push next. And let's choose what category and service we're booking for today. So we're going to say a full groom and let's do a full groom on a medium dog. Your services will all still be the same as you entered them in the system. Um, I'm going to push next. Now it's asking us to confirm the date and the time. Let's go ahead and push next. And this is where your grooming notes go. Your grooming notes go. So at this point, it can be anything the customer requested. You can write what you did last time. So you can see what the groomers did previously all right here. Um, but let's go ahead, let's hit save. And just like that, we've made a booking in the new system. So you'll notice that, well, Tracy has two appointments here, but that's okay, this is just a test. You'll notice that this one is blue. That is because that means the payment has been received. Where it is red, um, this means the appointment is open. So we can come here, we can click on comment. We can add more notes, okay? So this is super important. Your groomers don't need to go into a different screen to update their grooming notes. They can just do so right there. Um, and to close the appointment is still the same, um, just looks a lot different now. What you're gonna do is select payment and are we doing a payment or a refund? Let's go ahead and do a payment. Now we're gonna be brought to the um, transaction screen and you'll notice all of your products and services are listed here on the left and you can switch to products or services. If you want to add anything to your invoice, you can. Um, so let's say we're going to add some nail clipping to this one. So you can see here on the right, we're building our invoice. It's calculating your total amount there. Let's check this customer out. Now it's going to show you all of your different payment types that you set up all right here. In this case, why don't we say let's pay with that Amex and let's go ahead and complete transaction. At this point, it's saying the booking is complete. You can email or print it for the customer. You can push our handy book again button or simply push close. So now we're brought back to the home screen where everything began. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to support.